These are the Rollerblade Blank Sean King Pro Skates. They retail for around $330 US. This is a beta release of the Blank Skate, the first new aggressive skate from Rollerblade in many years. It's a revised version of the Rollerblade Solo Boot, updated for a new generation of skaters. They come with blank frames and hydrogen wheels for both flat and anti-rocker setups. The liners are high quality with ample padding around the cuff. What makes the blank skate unique is the sole plate design. Rather than the frame mounting to the sole plate, it mounts directly to the boot. This creates a lower ride height, but might also make the frame less responsive. I took them to my local skate park to see how they feel. All right, so these are the size 43, 44 boots. My foot is 28.5 centimeters, and I typically ride a 44. The fit feels fine, uh, a little narrow, uh, and I could feel my toes at the end of the boot, but it's not a bad shell. I remember skating the solos, and I didn't have any issues with the fit, so definitely nothing weird going on here. Uh, these frames are very long, uh, like considerably longer than I'm used to. I feel like my feet are kind of <laughs> stuck down uh, on the, the ground, and it's just not a good feeling. Almost like I'm skating any rocker, maybe with some square wheels. I have no turning ability. Something definitely funky about these frames. I, think, I mean, ultimately they're just too long. They should be 270. Uh, I think that's fine for a size 10. I think going up to size 12 is where you want to start doing 290, but this is way too, uh, way too long for my feet. All right, let's try some grinds. All right, Soul Trick slide. Uh, they lock good. This ledge is a little sticky today and I don't have any wax. So I am doing what I can, but definitely don't have any issues locking and definitely can slide no problem. Skating flat is a little difficult. Um, I'm not used to skating flat. So for me, this is a new thing, especially with flat 60s. Um, I can see the wheels kind of extending over the groove, which means that I got to get pretty low uh, I'm getting a lot of squeak on uh, Soul Tricks or Mizus or whatever, and that's not normal. Um, I'm typically an anti rocker skater, so adjusting to flat definitely takes some time. But yeah, I don't know that these frames were designed for flat. Definitely not flat 60s. I bet they'd work great with 56s, though. All right, let's try some groove tricks. So I thought that these were going to be wheel bite city, but I tell you what, Royales have never felt better. The angle that I get with this frame and this sole plate on a front Royale is perfect. I felt like that last Royale, I really just squatted down like it was a perfect lock. Even on a fairly unwaxed ledge, felt amazing. And I slid, you know, all the way to the end, so it felt great. Back Royales, I mean, that's a hard trick for Ruddy Flat to begin with. Flat 60s back royale. I mean, I just get wheel bite. The problem is I gotta lean on the ledge in order to avoid slipping off. I tried that one and I slipped off. And then anytime that I jumped on the ledge, I just got stuck. So not ideal setup, uh, but the nice thing is that these came with anti-rocker wheels. So I'm gonna go swap those out and uh, skate this frame anti-rocker for a few grinds. What a difference the right setup makes. Uh, yeah, Andy Rocker is the way to skate this park. 
if you're trying to skate ledges with these skates flat 60, you're better than I am because it's a really difficult ride. That groove just isn't designed for flat for groove tricks. After the first session, I swapped out the frames to some 50-50 prime frames. There's a pressure point or a rubbing point with this liner right on the, for me, the right side of my cuff on my right foot, the outside, where it's digging into the side of my shin. And uh, yeah, it's distracting. It's uh, annoying. It feels like if I skated this for like an hour or two, uh, I would develop some red abrasive areas <laughs> from it hitting over and over and over again. I swapped out the liners for some Rossi's RL1 liners. Finally, the skate started feeling comfortable. The rollerblade blank skates are a great addition to the industry. Seeing a giant like rollerblade invest in aggressive is a really great sign. The biggest problem I had with the skates is the liners. The stiff cuff material digs into the side of my ankle. I know this doesn't impact all skaters, but I've heard from enough skaters to know that it's a problem. Also, when swapping the frames, I had a difficult time lining up the UFS mounts. I think the T-nuts aren't being consistently spaced apart. I've heard a handful of frames are having this problem. Overall, I think the rollerblade blank are a good skate that a lot of people are going to like. With a few tweaks, they could be great, but I would wait for the next revision.